Today I'm filming my first self-care shower routine so we're gonna relax, take care of our hair, brows, underarms, nails, do some peeling mask and shave. So I hope you like this video and let's get started. Before I hop in the shower, I like to pre care for my hair and trim my eyebrows. But first thing, I'm gonna light some candles and play some music to set the mood, you know. I'm gonna begin my routine by detangling my hair from the ends to roots with this wooden comb from the body shop which I recently bought and I can't believe it took me this long to get one of these. I just love how therapeutic this feels on my scalp when I brush and how soft my hair feels afterwards. Now I'm gonna apply this avocado oil from Maple Holistics on my entire hair to add some moisture and protection during the hair wash while I wait for the oil to soak in my hair, I take this time to get rid of some facial hair. So this is basically what I use for my eyebrows. Pretty simple tweezers, eyebrow brush, scissors, and also an eyebrow trimmer, which I use as last. I don't block my entire eyebrows. In fact, I like them to be as messy as possible. So I only block the thicker hairs in the middle and a few hairs on the sides of my eyebrows that don't align with the other hairs, if that makes sense. After that, I use the eyebrow brush to get a good sense of where I'm gonna trim some hair so that my eyebrow shape looks more even. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna go in with the finishing touch flawless brows to get rid of peachy hair in between my eyebrows. And also, I use this to remove the facial hair around my mouth. To this point in my life, I have not shaved my face once. And I'm kind of afraid to do it because I grow a lot of facial hair. So that's why I use this trimmer, which is painless, hair doesn't grow thicker or thin, it just grows like normal and, and hair takes longer to grow back. I'm gonna hop in the shower now and as you can see I'm gonna stay under the lukewarm water for a few minutes to soak my skin and this helps to open up the hair cuticles before I clean it with shampoo. Today I'm gonna go in with Kalia Purifying Shampoo to clean my hair, which is a very natural shampoo, so no harmful ingredients or fragrance. I normally use this shampoo once or twice a month to deep clean my hair and scalp from stubborn buildup that I accumulate every month from all of those challenges and product testing that I do that my regular shampoo can remove. I usually clean my scalp with this scalp exfoliator from Freedom Goods. I'm telling you, scalp exfoliators have being life changing for my hair. I only wash my hair every seven days and I have oily hair. So using this every week helps to keep my scalp less oily because it scrub the dead skin cells, remove dandruff, increases blood flow. In general, your scalp ends up really clean. Now I'm gonna go in with a deep conditioning hair mask from Coco and Eve Super Nourishing Coconut and Thick Hair Mask. I like to grab a good amount to cover the mids to ends of my hair, which are the parts that get the most dry during the week. I sincerely love that this is made with coconut oil and argan oil, so it's extremely nourishing, but also strengths the hair. I like to use this on special occasions when I want my hair to smell and look like a Victoria's Secret model, you know? And then I'm gonna use a plastic cap to wrap my hair while I wait for the hair mask to do its magic for 20 minutes. Now I'm going in with a Kesa exfoliating glove from Sakya's Morocco. I literally exfoliate most of my body with this, so my legs, my feet, my arms, chest, my stomach, and my neglected back. Hey, I'm trying to do my best and avoid my armpits, neck, or face, of course, because these are very sensitive parts. Not kidding when I say this is one of the most satisfying and weird exfoliations ever because you can actually see all your dead skin cells and whatever is on your skin will get scrubbed away with this thing. <laughs> it definitely takes some time to get used to the pressure you gotta put in order to exfoliate, especially on sensitive areas. But hey, at the end of the shower, my skin is super clean, glowing, rejuvenated, so worth the redness. <laughs> 
After this, I'm going in with Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. This is my go-to wash from many years now. I really like it because it is very gentle on any skin. It doesn't have fragrance, so it is perfect to use after an exfoliation like this because my skin gets a little bit red, as you can see. So it comes down the redness and at the same time, hydrates the skin so much. I'm gonna shave my legs first, so I'm going in with this almond oil from Now Solutions and with a disposable razor from Gillette. I just love how gentle it feels shaving my body with almond oil, like the razor glides so nicely and smoothly. Afterwards, my legs look super soft, glowing, and no razor burned. I actually tried to shave with coconut oil in the past and I got terrible rash for a few days, so not for me. But so far, almond oil has not disappointed this girl, so fully recommend it if you wanna try it. And then for my underarms, I go in first with CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser to exfoliate this delicate area. I don't use scrubs, sugars, or anything abrasive that it can cause more pigmentation. Instead, I use salicylic acid. I'm including this because some of you have asked me about my underarm care, and this cleanser has been the best thing I have used for my underarms because not only prevents ingrow hairs, also has reduced so much the pigmentation from the past i like to leave it on my skin for one minute and then rinse it off with lukewarm water and now i go in with almond oil and the disposable eraser to gently shave my underarms in one direction which i normally do downwards after this, I'm gonna rinse off the hair mask with cold water using the 10 second rule, which is basically leaving your hair under the cold water for 10 seconds to regain hydration, shine, and volume. Now I'm gonna get out of the shower and use a towel to pat dry my body. And for my hair, I use this microfiber towel that I got from Amazon and I really like the texture. So as you can see, I'm gonna gently pat dry. For my aftercare shower routine, I focus on my hair, nails, face, and body. So for my body, I'm going in with Aveeno Daily Moisturizing. Same as the body wash, this lotion is so gentle on the skin. I really like it because after shaving, my skin gets very sensitive and this lotion prevents a further irritation in the skin. For my hair, I'm going in with one pump of the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for hair density. This serum is absolutely light and absorbs really well on the scalp, so no greasy rash you however i'm still testing it out so if you want to hear about it let me know and then i go in with the in it live leaving conditioner applying from the middle to ends and then i'll do the same with her styler castor oil hair serum both of these products tame frizz and make hair very soft and shiny it's getting late, so it is the perfect time to deep clean my pores and nail cuticles for the week. So for my pores, I'm going in with the Ordinary Peeling Solution. I just apply all over my face except the under eye and mouth area. And then I leave it for 10 minutes to do its magic. By the way, I've been using this acid for many years and this thing works. It does unclog the pores very well, but you gotta learn how to use it to not harm your skin. I'm gonna utilize this waiting time to clean my messy nails. So for this, I use a cuticle pusher and some Vaseline. So I basically grab some Vaseline and apply it on top of the nails, massage a little bit to loosen up the dry skin, and then with a gentle pressure, we'll start pushing the cuticles. I am gonna be totally honest with you. I am so bad at taking care of my nails. It's been many years since I have done any cute nail coloring. And so for today, I'm just gonna clean and trim them so they look decent and that's it. It is time to rinse out the peeling solution with some water. Even though my skin feels very clean, it always gets a little bit stripped from the acid. So that is why I'm going in with Liliana Natural Face Cream, which is a rose and pomegranate collagen building moisturizer. It's quite light on the skin. It doesn't break me out and it instantly gets rid of the stripping feeling and enhances the glowing on my skin. I just feel very soft, clean exfoliated from head to toe 
and my hair smells really really good like that was a good choice <laughs> to use that hair mask i feel really accomplished the fact that my nails are so clean right now like look at them they're so clean no cuticles i don't know how i live with that much cuticle all the time but hey i'm trying to improve myself this is my first time recording one of these so i was i hope i'm not all over the place i try to do my best i really hope you have a good time and let me know in the comments below if you want to see another one thank you so much for watching i really hope i'll get to see you in the next video pura vida the fact that i took look at them <laughs>